First, that 11 frustration, though, grows in silence at this hour as Beaver Creek is now under curfew until tomorrow morning. This follows an afternoon of protests at the intersection of Pentagon Boulevard and North Fairfield Road. Police used tear gas and other non-lethal crowd control methods to clear protesters out of the streets. Hundreds of people gathered to demand justice for George Floyd, who died in police custody in Minneapolis. 2 News is bringing you team coverage of the protests tonight. We start with 2 News reporter Kristen Escal. Yeah, Brooke, here at Hellsburg Diamonds, there's a window boarded up. Uh, somebody threw something through the window. It doesn't appear anybody was able to get inside the store, though. Now, there were times this afternoon when the demonstrations remained peaceful, but tear gas was deployed twice. The protests began outside the Beaver Creek Walmart, where John Crawford III was shot and killed by police in 2014 after someone called 911, mistaking his BB gun for a real gun. No charges were filed against the officer involved. Everyone here has been through a lot, and coming together now um, and stepping up and speaking up is what we need to do. When that happened, it changed things for people in Beaver Creek, and I hope that this does too. Hundreds marched down the sidewalk. When they blocked North Fairfield Road, some officers threw tear gas canisters to clear the street. Protesters remained at each corner of the intersection for about 40 minutes. Then, once dozens of them began entering the street again, tear gas canisters were fired a second time. At the end of the day, they don't want to make any policy changes, any way of the way they train the police and how they act towards us. Moments later came a turning point in the day's events when officers took a knee and removed their riot gear. I feel like most of us really do want the same thing. We want to feel peace and we want our uh, African-American brothers and sisters to feel like that they um, are safe. The protests the rest of the day remained largely peaceful. The curfew is now in effect. The crowd left as instructed at 8 o'clock when the curfew went into effect. I think that the more that everyone stands out and comes out there, that the message is being heard. And the area tonight remains clear in the three hours since that curfew went into effect. The curfew runs until 6 tomorrow morning. Now, we did see one person out here earlier put in handcuffs. We're working to find out from police exactly how many arrests were made earlier today. For now, we're live in Beaver Creek. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.